Do you guys think that Ashley O is based off of Britney Spears? If you guys don't know who Ashley O is, she is a character from a series called Black Mirror, which is on Netflix, and she is played by Miley Cyrus, and a lot of people think that Ashley O is pretty much based off of Britney Spears. As you guys know, Britney Spears has been stuck in a conservatorship for 12 years now, and these toxic people in her life have been milking her for cash and taking her fortune. So that's kind of like what happened to Ashley O in the movie, and I actually have a quick video for you guys for from a random channel. They only like have one video, it's this, and it's really great. The editing is amazing, and I will link them below because obviously I want them to get their credit. But I'm gonna play this quick two minute video and I want you guys to see how he talks about how Ashley O oh, is pretty much related to Britney Spears. And then later on, I wanna talk a little bit about Original Doll, the one album that Britney never actually got to release. I wanna talk a little bit about her possibly being cloned and talk about Alice because there is a woman that is supposedly Britney's clone. I don't know guys, you know, the conspiracies sometimes go way above my head, but today I'm going to dive deep into them and I'm going to finish off talking about a current lawsuit going on. But I'm going to go ahead, play this video for you guys, pay close attention, and watch how crazy this whole, like, story is. They totally are connected. Like, Ashley O is Britney Spears. The new Black Mirror app. Oh, hey, sorry, just give me one sec. Is everything. Hi. In breaking news, the Australian government has... Whoa! So Rachel, Jack and Ashley 2, the new episode of Black Mirror, is getting a lot of flack from the usual fans. And I am one of those, but here's the thing that everyone's missing. People think that Black Mirror is about the future. It's actually about what's happening right now. And Ashley O is Britney Spears. Now, some sites have already speculated this, but I have the receipts to prove it. So in the episode, Ashley's evil aunt Catherine forbids her from releasing any personal music and turns her into a living doll. So in 2004, Britney's record label Jive refused to let her release an album of personal music. It's, um, it's probably going to be called the original doll. So. Then there's the family. So Ashley O's aunt Catherine looks suspiciously like Britney's mum Lynn and Rachel's dad Kevin, no not that one, is as equally obsessed with cheese as Britney's dad, Jamie. Yo, I'm making my baby some cheese grits. Okay. Kevin uses said cheese to catch mice. Now, Britney was the OG Mouseketeer, and she is literally trapped by her father, Jamie, under a court-appointed conservatorship. It's a man of Ashley is Britney. This one's kind of in your face. So when Britney shaved her head, she wore this wig, and Ashley O wears this wig. I'll give you a second to spot the difference. There is one. Before her breakdown, Ashley O releases the music video for On A Roll. The clip features the star in a hot pink bathtub. Before her own breakdown, Britney's last single from an album was Every Time, which features the star in a much sadder scene in a bathtub. Last and less obviously, Ashley O appears to be scared of Kevin's car at the end of the episode. Under the rules of the conservatorship, Britney is not allowed to drive. It's rumoured that paparazzi shots of her behind the wheel are what got Spears sent to a mental health retreat earlier this year. There are way more Easter eggs in this episode, everyone, so please let us know in the comments below if you can spot them. And in the meantime, keep sharing the hashtag FreeBritney. Wow, so as you guys can see, the editing is so good in that video, and I really think that maybe Ashley O, if it's not completely based off of Britney Spears, it's heavily inspired by Britney Spears. And there are reasons why, because Britney Spears has been such an icon for so long, and there are so many, like, mysteries and scandals when it comes to Britney. So one thing I want to talk about is Alice Banana. You guys might not know who Alice Banana is, but she is supposedly Britney's clone. So guys, I don't know if I fully believe this. Actually, I don't believe this, but I want to tell it to you guys because it's an interesting story. So back in 2010, people believe that Britney was replaced with a clone named Alice because there was this girl named Alice who sounds a lot like Britney. Like I want to actually play a little voice sample just so you guys can hear Alice's voice. This is her talking in a chat group with like other Britney fans because I Alice like really looks like Britney like was a really big Britney fan like literally could impersonate Britney and people think that she was like hired to be Britney so here's a voice sample and I created it today and um banana <laughs> oh my god banana Alice <laughs> I'm such a nerd oh my god I'm banana, banana Alice life, guys no okay it's like it's like this. <laughs> Wait, can you post it on the little chat thing, like, down here, in that little box? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Oh, I'm just testing it out. No, someone posted it already. Your girl really does sound like a lower pitched Britney. Like part of me was thinking like, oh my gosh, what if this is Alice? What if she is replacing Britney? And that's why they always speed up Britney's things because you know, Alice has a lower voice than Britney. I don't really know. But before I show you pictures of Alice, let me show you pictures of Britney from 2010. So here's Brit, Brit, 2010, going to the studio. Obviously looking amazing, love her. Um, still again, love her. And then here again, 2010 Brit. And then here comes Alice, guys. So pay close attention. This is supposedly Alice in 2011, um, going into the studio as Britney. So kind of like Britney's team is starting to filter her in as a clone. Which again, I'm like, oh, could she be a clone? I don't really know. You guys may not know what Original Doll is. We'll talk about it in a minute. But she has a whole song talking about how she has been cloned. So maybe. Here is another picture of Alice. And you could see, I mean, I don't know. It still kind of looks like Britney to me. But I guess I can see some differences. Like maybe Alice is supposed to be a little like bigger build. I, I honestly have. It's really hard for me to find a difference. Um, and then again, here is another photo of Alice. And you guys might be like, who is Alice? Like, where did Alice come from? Honestly, I have no idea. I just found information online about her supposedly being Britney's clone. And then I found a video of, you know, supposedly Alice on an ad. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if I believe this, but you know what? I'm going to show the people and I'll let you guys decide. So here is supposedly a video of Alice filling in for Britney for, from back in the day. And I mean, I don't know. It just, like, is it Britney? The, her voice does seem a lot of a lot lower. Good morning, America. I'm excited to tell you on Tuesday morning, March 29th, I'll be performing for the first time ever in a special concert in San Francisco's historic Castro District on Good Morning America. And I promise you, it'll be a morning to remember. See you soon. Would you hold it against me? Super quicks in a bit, but you guys get the point. So do you guys think that Alice Banana, obviously I didn't go that much into detail because I couldn't find that much on there, but do you guys think Britney could possibly be cloned? I just like, that's just so beyond me that I don't believe it but I do believe that Britney had her album original doll at some point and her company would not let her release it because they don't want her to reveal what's really going on with her and original doll is an album Britney Spears was um, making and her team did not let her release it because again they did not want public to hear what she was saying in it honestly this stuff is so real and as I was saying a few minutes ago there is a whole song talking about how she's been cloned before and I just want to go ahead and read the lyrics of that song because one it's like my favorite song and two like you guys need to go listen to it it just hit a million like listens on Spotify last week so definitely go stream it and it's called Mona Lisa so here are the lyrics and it starts off with I've got a story to tell about Mona Lisa and how she suddenly fell um and let's see what they have to say about that ironically you know it predicts that something would happen indeed Mona Lisa did fall okay Brittany also you know had her falling at some point she talks about how she's original unforgettable um she talks about being cloned she says it's incredible it's unpredictable she's been cloned she's been cloned um she was taken down under drowning in her sea running like an angel she was crying and could not see okay um, the legend of the fall. She literally is talking about being cloned straight up. And honestly, the song is just so good. You guys definitely have to go listen to it. But um, I really feel like the song is just a little insight into what her team is trying to do to her. And I think that Alice really could maybe be, I don't know, maybe there could be another Britney out there. Um, I definitely want you guys to comment below and let me know what you guys think. Um, so Mona Lisa was supposedly going to be on this album called Original Doll. And Original Doll was, you know, being produced in 2004, 2005, and her team did not let her release it. It was supposed to be a darker sequel to In The Zone, but it was never released. And honestly, I feel so bad that Britney was not allowed to release this album because, um, it was so real and she worked so hard on it. People call it the Forbidden Album. And it was more in depth into the sadness in her life. Jive did not allow her to release it, which angered her. So the project was ab abandoned. And obviously that's really hard for Britney because she doesn't have a lot of say in her content sometimes. So to be so involved in this album and not to be able to like put it out there is really just upsetting. And she put so much creative effort into it. This 
whole like Wikipedia site goes really into detail on what happened there. So um, definitely go read up on it. And if you want a whole video on Original Doll, I would totally do that. I feel like it is a story in that album that needs to be told because there are so many songs, you know, in her whole discography that I think represent what she's going through. I'm a slave to you, overprotected, toxic, so many different things. But I do want to quickly talk about what's going on legally. You guys know I always talk about what's going on legally. So this one account, and if you aren't following them, you need to go follow it. Brittany Hiatus posted how Courtney, or Courtney, I, I almost called court Courtney. How California Courtney, how California court dismissed a new lawsuit against Sam Lufty, which again, I'm not going to say too much about him right now and what's going on with me and him, but we'll continue. Um, brought by Jamie Spears as a conservator. So as you guys can see, there is a lawsuit that was going to happen, but did not happen because the, the court was like, no, like you are not going to do this. And here is just a little screenshot of some legal papers on what happened there. Honestly, um, it says failure to prosecute the case, um, order to show, blah, 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 pretty basic like legal things. And I think it's just um, another failed attempt at Britney's father trying to divert the attention towards someone else and try to make someone else look like the bad guy when in fact he has been the bad guy from the jump like literally every single time and I don't know why he's still given any type of power or authority over Britney's life. Let's go over to her Instagram real quick before we check out and just make sure there's nothing new. Let's do a refresh. Um, this is pre-recorded guys because right now I am on vacation. I'm taking a little bit of a mental health break this weekend just to step away and get some fresh air. But um, I will be back next week and I just wanted to say that I'm really appreciative of you guys. And you know it's been really rough for me the last few weeks so I appreciate the support. But let's check out Brittany's Instagram. So she did post this yesterday and a lot of people say T is standing for trafficked. Um, I don't really know if that's what it stands for but I will read the caption to you guys. She said no. This isn't just a touch of rose, or red, it's simply me, in the most general Britney way. Hey, while you're at it, turn the photos upside down. You will find it's a T for trafficked. For teacher, T, test, tomorrow, time, two, ten, tool, try, thinks, they. I mean, we could go all day with this one, right? Anyhow. Who was your favorite teacher in school and what did you learn? This is a really interesting caption. There's a lot to break down here. I want to see if there's any good captions. Um, yeah, so maybe there's something T that she wants us to know. I don't know. It's, it is definitely a, an interesting caption. Um, she posted this, which looks like, is this a book? She captioned it, I promise, this is a good one. It's a workbook that helps you strengthen all aspects of your womanhood. I've only studied the chapters I think will most I will most benefit from, okay? Hopefully learning these principles will also strengthen my Just a Touch of Rose and Red projects as well. What are these projects, people? Like, does anyone know? What are these projects? I have no idea. I'm like, are we, is she coming out with an album? Like a red album, a red rose album? I have no idea. Um, and then you guys know there was this weird video that she posted with her man. Oh God, you are so gorgeous. This is why I fell in love with you. What do you think about me? Do you think I'm beautiful? <laughs> it's not bad. This is the way we look. And we love it. Yeah, so that's definitely a little bit, oof, again, weird, but cute, but funny, but whatever. I just hope that Brittany is happy at the end of the day, and I really hope that she gets the freedom she deserves. I do think that Brittany is actually Brittany. I don't think she is Alice or any clone out here, but I do think it's entertaining, and it keeps people interested. So as long as people are talking about free Brittany, I'm happy about it, and I want us to continue to pressure the court and pressure everyone involved in Brittany's life to surrender and give up and give her back her freedom because that's what she deserves but i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video um make sure you stay safe out there and um take care of yourselves i know it's rough and it's been tough and i'm going through it too so just hang in there and we'll get through it together until next time i'll see you in my next video bye